check out this recent access point that I got from Wave Lake, right? And this thing, I can't even call this an access point. This is so much more than an access point, right? So when I received this product and I opened up that box, I was blown away at the packaging inside of this camouflage box, I tell you. This thing was great. I opened it up and I could smell that performance coming out of this box. The foam packaging inside this box was fantastic. The access point sat right in it, nice and secure, and I needed two fingers to pop that out. You know what I mean? And there was no loose ends inside this box, right? There was two other cardboard boxes inside here, and these cardboard boxes were luxury boxes, I'll tell you that right now. I love the silver lettering on the boxes and how it just shines when you're pulling it out. You know what I mean? So I pulled these omnidirectional antennas out of the box, and these things were monstrous. Wow! I've never seen antennas like this on an access point, right? And there's six of them lined around this thing, right? This thing's looking like a spider, but I love it. This is heavy duty outdoor access point for you. Wi-Fi 6 is gonna have that more faster enhanced speeds, right? And on top of the enhanced speeds, you're gonna be able to put more devices on your Wi-Fi network without the quality degrading. And you wanna make sure that you're getting an omnidirectional antennas if you're getting an access point that's gonna be outside for the longest, widest, fastest range. You need to have an omnidirectional, and that's where wavelengths come through, right? Wavelengths knows how to make access points. Wavelengths knows how to just with those Wi-Fi's. Do you know what the AX3000 means, right? That's three gigabytes down between the 2.4 gigahertz and the five gigahertz. Oh, wow. So you're not gonna see that in like real life scenarios. You're not gonna see those three gigs down, but this is packing performance. This is gonna have you running. This is gonna have your Wi-Fi soaring. You know what I mean? I just love these outside access points. Not only do I love that camouflage on it, I love that it's just built for that long distance, high speed access point material. So this thing was put through the test, right? With that ethernet cable, how it goes into that port with that waterproof connection around it, right? And we got hit with the ice storm this week and I was like, oh no, that access point is gonna be dead when I go out there, right? Nope, it survived it. It survived it with flying colors, man. Nothing inside of this port was wet at all. So not only is this thing an access point, it's gonna have the fat and the fit access point, but it's also gonna have that router mode, repeater mode, and you're gonna have a mesh network. So what that mesh network's gonna do, right, it's gonna allow you to use this access point for a router, right? And then when you have this set up as a router, you could hook up more of these access points throughout the network, and it's all gonna be connected on one network. So you're gonna log into that one network on your device, and you're gonna be able to walk around that whole property connected to the one network as your service goes from access point to access point. That is what a mesh network is and it's amazing. So the access point mode, there's a fat and a fit and the fat is what most of y'all are gonna use with your smaller networks, right? So what this is gonna do, it's gonna plug into your current network, you're gonna plug it into your switch, right? And then this is gonna be just like your average access point that you can log into and manage, right? So I did that, I logged into it and this interface was not Nice. The interface had no issues. I was able to set everything up and just set it up smoothly. You know what I mean? There was nothing confusing. It was all just boop, boop, boop right there and we were rolling. So I went ahead and hooked this up into my network as an access point and I wanted to test out the speeds. So I started off at about 50 meters distance, um, you know, pretty close to the access point and it was tapping that performance. If you know what I mean, it was almost at the peak performance. So I ventured out a little bit further. So I went about 100 meters and my connection was, you know, pretty good. It was staying that it was good still and I still had this decent connection about 400 down so that was good I was super pressed about that but I wanted to push it right so I went out a little bit further you know towards the end of my property and it was saying that my connection was more fair I was hitting a little bit lower speeds right but these speeds are faster than my current mesh network that I had hooked up right so I'm like okay let's push this out so I went all the way back to the end of my property where the chicken coop is right so we have cameras and we have stuff inside the chicken coop and the internet drops out often back there. So I just wanted to go ahead and try this repeater mode and see if that would boost my signal out at the end of my property, right? So I went ahead out there and I connected to my current mesh network so you can see the speeds. So I went ahead and hooked this access point up to the back of my chicken coop and I ran that PoE switch inside the chicken coop. Now that's sweet that this thing is powered by PoE because you can just throw it up wherever and run that ethernet cable into the PoE adapter that they provided, right? So I went ahead and did that. I went ahead and connected it to my current Wi-Fi and it connected, it loaded it. I took it out there, booted it up, it picked up that signal, and it amplified it. Wow, 
look what it did. You might think these speeds really aren't that fast, right? But when my regular network's topping out at two, three, four, five, and this boosted up this quick, I'm impressed. My cameras aren't gonna be cutting out no more when I'm watching the chickens. So definitely, if you're looking for a great outside access point, this is gonna be the route to go. Wavelink definitely knows what they're doing, and this is a great outside access point. It topped everything off of my checklist, and I had no issues with it.